Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Roxanne. Um, so today I was thinking about doing some samples uh, to try on. Okay, so I uh, pulled out the Huda Fall Filter Foundation, High Coverage Cream Foundation. So I'm going to try that out, out today. I'm also going to try Tatcha's The Pearl Under Eye Treatment. I believe I picked the Soft Light. Um, and then we're going to go with the Blush and Glow from Rare Beauty. Um, I got two of these. So one I had from uh, Sephora and one was gifted to me um, from my friend Kelly. So I put the other one in the giveaway. And in case you guys want to enter the giveaway, you have until May 1st to enter it. And it is on my first video of this month, back uh, when I won the Pat McGrath. So go ahead and give that a watch, and it'll tell you how you can win this package. Okay, so I picked the blush, Joy, and the highlighter, Positive Light. Okay, so then I also had this, so, and I've been wanting to try it forever, so I've opened it up. So I've basically opened up everything that I possibly can, so I don't have to waste my time opening things, because we all know I suck at it. So, see, I didn't open this, but I also want to show you that I had won this from the one of the raffle groups, um, so I am going to use it today. Oh my gosh, look at that amethyst. So I am actually born in February. I was I was born in February. So um, this is such, so my colors, okay. This is a DH palette. I've never tried this brand. Um, I've gotten mixed reviews on this, but we are going to give it a try. I'll do swatches when I get to it. Um, okay, so I am gonna try to use as much <laughs> samples as I can. I also got this as well from the Kelly. Um, I've been wanting to try these forever, so I'll use this as one of these colors or two of these colors on my lips. So I am going to start with the foundation. Huda Beauty came with the foundation, so let's start with that. How's that? Okay, guys, this feels so good on my skin. Again. It has a light scent. It's nothing too bad. So I'm going to put this soft light under the eyes. And I think, is it a powder or is No, it's not. Okay, so. See, I thought I had planned far enough. I wouldn't have to worry about this, but I guess I didn't. So this is the Tatcha. So it says just to pat some under here. And go on or over top. Oh, I didn't even show you. I also have the Tarte Creaseless Concealer out, so I will use that as well. Okay, so I'm going to do my eyes and then I'm going to do the rest just because I have a feeling that there might be a lot of fallout on this. So I am going to go in with the Anastasia primer. I don't need much of that. Okay, so move everything out of the way. So let's do some swatches before we start. So I am going to go in with this Amethyst. 
So, let's see. Amethyst. Ooh. This is Humble. Oh, that is gorgeous. And that is Rubble. Then I'm going to go in with a little sexy superstition, clever as AF. Sorry. So let's see, a little sexy superstitious. I think that's clever. And then this beautiful fine glitter. And that is Daredevil. Okay. So I'm not sure if I will put Dare Daredevil on. It looks kind of glittery and it looks like it, it's going to fall out quite a bit. So I'm not going to use that one necessarily. Okay, guys. I am going to go in with the humble shade here. So, I am going to go in with Clever right here. Okay, so I am going to go in with, I'm going to go in with this one. Here. And I'm going to take actually superstitious here. And I'm just going to put this okay. I'm going to go in with real. So I'm going to go in with this gorgeous amethyst color. So let's take this blue and like a seam so much but let's just make this prettier I think I went I love the two colors mixed together I love what it makes it's pretty Okay, so before I do too much more, I'm going to go in with my, my foundation. I'm gonna, <laughs> before we go too much further, I am gonna get into my foundation. Oh, where am I today? Not here. Okay, so. So this, May or may not be my shade, but it is the lightest shade that I found in this sampler. So let's go and see what it does and how the coverage is. Okay. So I'm going to go in with my little beauty blender. With the sharp, the tart shape tape, creaseless. So 
So I got the So I am going to go in with my magic eyeliner brush and I'm going to go in with a little sexy, here, just this one here. Okay, so I'm going in with Superstition here, and I'm just bringing it down a little bit, not a lot. So I am going to go in with Humble under here, I'm wondering the... That is really cute palette, I have to admit. I know, like, I've got such hooded eyes, but. Okay, so let's go in with this mascara. I know I got a bit of that primer there. So I got the benefits. Okay. Look very pale right now. <laughs> I am going to go in with my Dalton because I do not have like a sample, I guess, of um, so I am going to go in with a Dalton here. I'm going to go in with the blush and I'm going to use All right. So let's It looks awfully Of course I had to get it in my hair, right? I'm going to go in with this highlighter out of the pack and let's see. Okay, so I the brush is very, very bright, but I worked it down. Um, as you can see, there is a lot in there. I should have actually maybe chose these two colors, but I'll do those two next. Oh, yeah. Actually, I am going to put... Okay, 
So, mm, let's get into this. I think because the eye is so bold, I might go with a more neutral lip. But, I've been wanting this since it came out. I'm really disappointed, though, that they do not taste like anything. Come on, morph feet. I don't know why I just did that. Okay, so let's start with this nice sparkly. So I'm not gonna lie, I opened this package up when I got it in and Avalyn had a, and I had a go at this. So I don't know if you guys can see that. So there's that one. Um, so I think I went this one. So. It, like, I mean, could've put some sense in here, like, Look at that red. I was gonna put the red one on today, but I think the eye look is like a lot. Um, so. So there's your four colors are super cute. So I think I'm gonna put on the pink one. Um, I am going to just take this off just because I don't want my arm getting sticky later. And I think I have, let's see here. And me, Mom. Yes, sweetheart. So I'm gonna go in my Dalton Genius lip here. What do you want, honey? And me. And mom. Mom. Yes. Yes. Me. No, yeah, these are mine. Yes, you're right with that. Okay, so this is like a clear lip liner. I think I got it for like three bucks off of Delta. Mom, do you want beef gloss? Please. What? Beef gloss. You want some lip gloss? Yes. Yes, I can put some lip gloss on you. Can you give mommy one second? Oops, mommy's got it all over you. Hold on. Whoa. That's a really good look. very toned down lip. I'm gonna add just a little bit of the brown just to see if I can brighten it up a bit. Ooh, it just made a really nudie color. Okay. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments. This is a really good foundation. I am going to have to say, um, wow. I did a really good job. Mom. Um, as for the um, blush, it is a lot to work with. Um, I did use a blending sp blush, brush, blush, blend, blend. Yep, <laughs> I used a Ben. Let's try this once more. I used a blender sponge, and then I used a, a stiffle um, brush, and it seems to work out. Um, I also tried to put another. Um, I tried to put another layer of foundation over it, and it seems to work. Um, the highlighter is gorgeous. I absolutely love it. Um, the contouring is from Doll 10. You can get uh, anything on the website for 15% off using my link below. Um, 
the palette. I'm not sure why it got mixed reviews. It seems to do okay. Like, I really like this look. I really like the colors. I'm not a blue fan, but this is a superb blue. Um, I didn't find there was as much fallout when I was doing my foundation, and I definitely don't see any now. Mind you, I'm not going to touch that glitter for a bit, because, yeah, that glitter looks truly fun. Um, but, yeah, like, uh, I don't know, maybe it's me. I will say that this uh, Givenchy, um, I got some left, so I might I'll try to tuck it away for now. It is really nice, like, whoa. Uh, I have got to, so I've got like $25 uh, gift card for Sephora, so not sure, like I do have a lot of um, foundation, so I'm not sure if I should get another foundation or what, but I'm going to uh, maybe wait and see. I do, like I said, I do, 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 do like this. Um, now, like, what do you guys do with the rest of your, like, I, like it's got two, three other colors here, so I don't know, maybe I'll throw it up and say, hey, does anyone want these, and, you know, try to find them homes, maybe I'll wait to do a larger one. I will say that this mascara is absolutely amazing. No, I haven't got my second one yet i haven't got my freebie i haven't got my nars freebie either which really makes me mad um yeah so now i don't really see any difference with using this but i got one more and i'll use it up so i do have this anastasia's uh, medium coverage foundation with the luminous natural nat natural finish so maybe i'll use that one next i'm not working tomorrow so perhaps i'll pop on tomorrow and do another sample video you guys let me know in the comments what you think um i'm gonna leave this on until uh like i go to bed i want to see how it works i will say that uh, there is a lot of coverage in this and there's not a whole lot on my face i feel um, but I will say that you can kind of see my pores, which isn't the foundation's fault. On my birthmark, I have really deep craters. So if you guys have any hints on what to use for that, you can go ahead and leave it in the comments below. I will also say that the um, I put a lot of um, setting powder down here because it was really sticky and I don't know if it was sticky from the foundation or sticky from the uh, primer but I will say that primer was pretty fabulous I have to admit like I'm pretty blown away by how thick and luxurious it felt and then when I put it on it just made my skin feel so much better like it's kind of crazy so yeah um I don't know like I'm pretty impressed so I'll have to wait and see. I don't have a whole lot of money to spend on makeup right now, but uh, this foundation does, I think, suit me. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Also, um, don't forget to go back and check out my Pat McGrath video because you could win a good, a little box of goodies for yourself. So guys, have a great day. Give this video a like, maybe give it a share and make sure you're subscribed.